Hello, this is Danielle Zana. Well, I am quite, quite, there's been a lot happening and I'm not feeling well. Um, first of all, it's uh, this whole Brexit thing and um, it's, 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 it's a complete circus. Um, first of all, as you know, I, in the, you know, um, past this, you know, with Nigel Farage, he's basically the baby, right? So he created his baby and he's now abandoning it. And, um, and his reasons were, um, not really good. This is like when I was telling people to vote, this, this arrived in Sunderland, this pamphlet. Nothing was mentioned about the militarization of the EU, which is, I think, is the only legitimate reason for the EU. Um, the rest is, I'll, I'll go through it. A quarter, <coughs> over a quarter of a million people migrate to the UK. So that's an immigrant pool. EU is expanding to include Albania, but it's okay, built the stuff more cool. The EU European Union has changed enormously uh, since the UK. But money shifts up. EU law overrides UK law. Now, the only good thing about that was the human rights, which they are uh, now planning to uh, abolish and uh, um, let's bring this up here. So that's what I'm going to cover in a bit. EU referendum would Brexit violate UK citizens' rights? And it goes on to say that um, you can look at, read this if you want to uh, find it. Um, it's saying that um, um, gives you somewhere at the end. That um, some of the rights, the charter, all charter rights, um, would um, would be lost. Word, the Charter of Human Rights is, will no longer apply to UK citizens. So they did the Charter of Fundamental Rights, so let's have a look at what they're talking about. Dignity. Human dignity is more and must be protected. So that everyone has a right to life. That's the most important thing. That's not going to apply. No one, sh I am absolutely, really, I don't know, what I'm, I'm feeling absolutely shit. Pro prohibitions on slave labor and forced labor. It's just coming, so this once, this, these charters are basically no longer apply anymore here. Yeah. And, um, what I found out with the EU is quite something. I downloaded it. It's like the EU wants to militarize itself. Okay, 
fucking weird PDFs. Yeah, but it's okay. Militarization, this, this document covers the militarization of the EU. Give you the, the title of it so that you can search for it. A shared vision, common action, a stronger Europe, a global strategy for European Union's foreign and security policy. So when you just, just shorten the whole thing. Just type in military. There you go. It focuses on military capabilities and anti terrorism. As Europe is, however, the idea of Europe, an exclusively civilian power does not. So they basically are going to militarize it. You see over there. Then it's been into partnership with NATO. Strength and common rules govern member state export policies and military. Uh, a sectorial strength. These are this is a legitimate reason for leave, but it seems to be the only one. This one here. It says UK and the European Union have a fuck. This is absolutely bullshit. This is how they got the voters. I'm glad I kept this thing, but uh, I feel like tearing it up. But uh, this is absolutely it's all about migrants, 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 and migrants, and then the whole Turkey thing. Oh fuck! But this over here is like genuine shit reason for leave which was never covered at all it wasn't even covered so you'll think right uh, UK left EU and we would avoid this militarization of the EU but 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 that is not that's not the greatest worry Theresa May, one of the not, one of the, the wanting to get a new prime minister in the UK, and it's not going to be democratic. It's going to be voted amongst the Conservative Party. Who's going to be? Not 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 a general election because they want that. They just doesn't they don't want to do the general election. There's fears of. Basically, throwing about uh, money and business and the usual crap. But this lady, you know, you think, oh, she's a woman, she's fine. But look at this. It, she basically says MPs should vote. And it's got a tick on there saying it's a, it, the genuine. MP should vote our nuclear deterrent before the summer recess. Which means World War Three is just like fucking close. Like it could happen in autumn. It could happen what's this here? What's that? What's that? See, I'm getting all this shit all the time about the EU. It's just like bad news, like with the Brexit.
Oh yeah, the government has responded to the petition and cancelled it. Okay. Let's see what what that was. This is like live shit. Like seriously, it hasn't reached the. I thought there was more than that. There was absolutely more than that. What the fuck? Oh, let's see what that, see what that is say. Come on. The European Union referendum bill became act of parliament in December. Can any government hold a referendum in Britain to refer to the New Union Act was received by a vote in December 2000. The Act was scrutinised and debated in Parliament as a passage of the Act. As as the Prime Minister said in his statement, one of the words was one of the biggest. Oh bullshit! The whole thing was just a complete fucking circus. It was a joke. It was it was fixed. It wasn't completely democratic. Explain Joe Cox's murder. Fucking hell. Explain that. Even the whole Leave campaign. Nothing was mentioned about the militarization of the EU, which actually would have supported a reason, a legitimate reason. Except you've got this fucking bullshit. Immigration. Blah, blah, blah. Fucking stupid fascist members of parliament. It's like the fucking Nazis. Um, 32 million people have uh, made it clear that we sh should be proud of our par parliamentary democracy. Are they fucking proud? It was basically started by Nigel Farage, David Cameron, and Boris. Where are they now? They're fucking bailed. Nigel Farage is bailed. David Cameron's bailed. And Boris is bailed. All three is just fucking bailed. They, 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 they created the shit for some... Uh, it's obviously... I just don't know the, the real mastermind reason behind all this. But there is a, a fucking mastermind reason. And it's probably... And it's got a lot to do with money and finances... That somebody out of this is getting a is gonna get a lot of money to help with people's lives and whatnot. But going on to Theresa May, she says MP should vote on the whole full trident. This is going to cause fucking World War Three. Why is my mouse sticking up here? Really, I do. I just don't know what the fuck. Seriously, you know, like it's just getting worse and worse and worse. Daria, David Cameron, the fucking dickhead. Just like I mentioned, like way back in 2009, that this man would be the cause of World War Three. Just make sure that she doesn't get MP, then there is sort of like a breath of hope. A breath. Ugh, the leadership hope for these issues. Come on. Still can't. Using fucking nuclear weights to prove a point. 
Or are you just fucking stupid? This is gonna fucking trigger of World War Three. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, I've just got that in brain freeze. I just caught. I'm just so stunned that I am. Uh, seriously. Oh yeah, there we go. I'm talking about money and shit with the whole Brexit thing. David Cameron rumored to be buying this estate, the Scottish Scottish estate. Yeah, the Scots didn't. Uh, not, not, not many of the Scots voted to leave. Their money vote, voted to remain. And he wants to move his ass into Scotland. The f fucking hell! What the hell? I thought, I, thought, I thought David Cameron was all pro-English and that, and then now he wants to go to Scotland and live in a fucking big mansion while England is just in shit street or going to be bombed to kingdom come, thanks to Theresa May and him. Um, honestly. And then they, they, David Cameron... Nigel Farage, Boris Johnson, they fucking assassinated, well they didn't physically assassinate, they got someone who was like, this, uh, look at that, Jay Cox. was assassinated by the Remain group. And blame the gun. Courtney. I mean, it was David, Cameron, Nigel Ford. Are they behind us? They are behind. Killing her. And, and they file now that they're, 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 they're retiring and they're going to live in fucking mansions while the rest of the country, while the rest of the United Kingdom is just going down shit street. Oh, for fuck's sake, really. Everything is so fucking messed up. Really. I'm currently working on this picture. You know, this is so significant for this time. For the extraterrestrial. That's how far I'm done with it. So far I am done with it. This is this is fucking nuclear bombs. And she's sitting there and she's just she's just maybe the whole process of seeding her people just for what for nothing because they're gonna end up killing each other. 
and you can just see it fucking happening. So everything's just fucked up. All because of Nigel Farage, Barry Kevin, and Biden. Everything's just fucked up. They fucked everything up. And, uh, to be honest, there is no future. It's all fucked up. Especially on the top here. Like this tried and tried. It's fucking end of everything. Fucking terrorist game. They just want to fucking have a war and make profit of it. Yeah, you can see the whole thing about Trident. He wants to stop it. He wants people to live. He wants the earth to survive. And the, look, and it's and uh, that it's causing the problem with his party. That's why he's got so much shit from people. Because if this gets passed through. At the end of the summer, um, autumn, winter, or even just next year, fucking world with is just gonna break out. Like, I don't need that shit. Honestly, I don't need that shit. But it's what I need. And it's like, really, she has to be stopped. 